Hey everybody, this is Andrew here with the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. And today we're gonna to be talking about moto style e-bikes, moped style e-bikes. You have probably seen them everywhere. They're all the rage in the e-bike industry now. I feel like every brand is coming out with their own. Well, we wanna talk about them because we are seeing a lot of them. And you know, a lot of people that purchased them definitely didn't think about their purchase all the way. So we're gonna talk about these bikes and hopefully, you know, answer some questions you may have, clear the water and prepare you if you're, you know, preparing to buy one of these. So we have in front of us here, we have an Onyx RCR. There are a lot of other brands that make similar ones. Huck is another brand. Uh, Super 73s, you probably see all over the place. A lot of e-bike brands are rolling out with their own models as well. So these moto bikes are everywhere and they are absolutely super cool. They look mean, you look cool hunched over riding. They've got mean tires, but there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't think about when buying these bikes. One of the really, really big things you have to remember when buying one of these style bikes is it's not quite an e-bike. It's also not quite a motorcycle. And as a result, they kind of fall into this gray area. Like the Onyx we have here in front of us, they use a combination of mostly motorcycle parts with a few e-bike parts. And as a result, you have a bike that, you know, neither a motorcycle repair shop can fully take care of and an e-bike shop can't fully take care of. One of the big ones is tires and wheels. Regular bike shop can't necessarily take off these big moto style tires. But at the same time, if you bring this bike to a motorcycle shop, they may see an e-bike and not want to work on it. You know, this is something we've seen from a lot of the customers that have come through. You know, they come to us, they're like, I brought this to every motorcycle shop in town. No one wants to touch it. And unfortunately, as much as we want to help people out, we, you know, don't even have the ability to take and remove, take and reinstall these moto style tires. You know, you really need like almost a tire press to get these on and off. You also combine that with the fact that these bikes are super, super heavy and they do not have a regular seat post or something where you can clamp a regular bike stand to lift it up. So more than likely, if you do find a place that can service these, they're gonna have to put it on a motorcycle lift. Or if you decide to work on it yourself, you're gonna need to get a motorcycle lift for these because they're super heavy. And one, a bike stand probably won't be able to hold this much weight. And two, there's really nowhere to, to clamp and raise this on. So that is another thing you've got to remember about these bikes. One of the other things is body posture and geometry. You, know, you probably envision yourself, you know, being all hunched over, you know, looking cool, looking like a racer. But one of the things a lot of people don't think about is that's the position you stay in all the time you're riding the bike. And you know, maybe fun, maybe cool, kind of around the block, kind of riding around on the dirt a little bit. But if you know, you're looking to get this as like your daily commuter, being hunched over may not be something you're looking for. That's not a problem for a lot of people, but it definitely is something to consider, something we've, you know, had a few customers say, man, I didn't really think about that when I bought this bike. I wish I would have thought about that previously. One of the other big things to consider about these style of bikes is, again, with all e-bike brands, brands rise, brands fall, come out of business, new brands start. That doesn't change the fact that you own the bike and you need to continue to service it long term on a regular e-bike that's kind of lost brand support you know you can kind of piece re-piece together the electrical system you know kind of rebuild it replace it with something else and get it running because at its core you know an e-bike is mostly a bike but with one of these you can't really use a regular e-bike rebuild kit to get this thing running and if the brand goes out of business you're stuck with a bike that has a lot of weird proprietary parts that you may not be able to source and these bikes are really expensive, so you definitely don't want a multi-thousand dollar paperweight sitting in your garage. Another one of the big things about these bikes to think about is a lot of the really cool features that people love about them, you can get those features on a regular e-bike. You don't necessarily need to go to something super moto style to get those features. Something like a powerful motor or full suspension or really treaded tires or even a hunched over body posture. You can get all of those things on different styles of regular e-bikes without going super moto. Finally, one of the last things I do have to say about this is a lot of people that look at these things think it's super cool. You know, they're like, oh, I can go, you know, ride dirt. At the end of the day, you may consider buying a motorcycle. You know, we've had multiple customers that are like, spent three or four thousand bucks on this bike, but I should have spent three or four thousand dollars on a motorcycle. I would have been way happier. I can ride all over the place and it's way easier to service. So at the end of the day, that may be a question to ask yourself. These are a lot of fun. They're super cool to ride. They look mean, but be ready if you're gonna purchase one of these. There are gonna be some hurdles that you're gonna have to get over. You may wanna learn to service some motorcycle parts because you may end up having to service those yourself. You may have a local shop that's like, yeah, we'll tackle these Onyxes, no problem. That is fantastic. But overall, you can't just expect to roll these things into any old bike shop and get it fixed up or any old motorcycle shop and expect them to take it. It kind of fits in this gray area.
but they are pretty cool. At the end of the day, think if it's perfect for you. It may be the perfect ride for you. For as many customers we have that have had, you know, kind of rough goes with their bikes, we do have some that absolutely love them and take them out and go on races and off-road on them. So they do cool, they do have a purpose, but be sure this is what you wanna buy before you jump headfirst into it. Because there really aren't any cheap versions of these. You're looking to spend at least over two grand to get on something pretty nice like this. Just food for thought. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day. Bye.